Well, there's a lot of research to show that um, reading to young children, very young children in the home, um, is an essential requirement for building mm -hmm. vocabulary, building reading strategies, etc. But they don't have books in the home, they don't get read to, um, and those children then coming to school have a limited vocabulary, have a limited um, interaction with books, and that has a knock-on effect to them long term. Well, we're in Desh school, so for a number of different reasons. A lot of our families, a lot of our children wouldn't have books at home. Um, we have a lot of children from other nationalities where English wouldn't be their first language. Um, we, some of our homes, they'll have DVDs, videos, games, they'll all have tablets, but they won't have books. Reading just isn't part of the environs. And so the book start gets books into the homes early so that the children are read to aloud by moms, dads, older sisters, brothers. It's really important from our point of view as a school that we get books into the homes. Oh, it's fantastic. In a school, we teach the children, we teach them phonics, we teach them spelling strategies, we teach them word, word skills, breaking it up, blending, etc. But our children don't have the vocabulary. So they might read the word waiter, for example. They might be able to sound it out, but they don't know what a waiter is. So we're sitting there teaching them to read the words, but they need to have the background and the vocabulary. A parent sitting there reading with their child will you know, they, if there's a waiter in it, they'll discuss the waiter, for example. The other issue with that is as they go further up along the school, if they don't have the vocabulary, if they don't have the comprehension and the background knowledge, then that impacts everything that they're going to do. If you read English, you read you read English in history, geography, SPHE, science. It has a knock-on effect onto everything, even maths problems as they go further up the school. There's an, a, back, a backlash if they don't have the vocabulary. So it's extremely important in a school like ours. Well, initially we worked very closely with the city library here, or city and county library actually, uh, now that they've been merged and we have a great relationship with the librarians there and they put together a set of 40 books for that age, um, highly colourful, mostly fiction but some non-fiction too, um, some of them with very few words so, so that the wor it's all about the interaction with the parent and the picture um, and the whole book, reading left to right, front to back, all the all those relationships. They put all those the, the, those books together for us, usually about 40. And then the NEP psychologist, good self, <laughs> comes in and meets the parents of either the preschool or the junior infants, depending who we're running the session with, and discusses how important and tells them how important it is to read aloud to your children. Um, talks about the libraries, because many of our children wouldn't be members of libraries, so we'll be encouraging them to be to join a library during this or when this is finished, because I sometimes call it a mini library when they come and pick their book. Um, models the reading, how you read with a child, models the reading to the parents, and then we run it for usually 14, 16 sessions, something like that. Um, so the child comes in, picks his or her own book, so we have it twice a week, I have all the books laid out. The child comes in, they get very excited picking out their book. Um, they pick out the book, they give me their name, I write their name down, they show me their book, the book goes home. I often make a point of saying, who's going to read that to you? Will it be mommy, daddy, nana? Well, there are a number of outcomes. First of all, um, you've got books into a, into a home twice a week because we run it on a maybe Tuesday and a Friday. So twice a week, there's a book going home, being read and brought back again. The children get used to picking up and holding, just having the feel of a book. The children get used to picking their own books. They, they know what books they like and they don't like. And I encourage them to tell me if they didn't like a book, because that's okay too, that's building their knowledge of books. So they're all outcomes. Um, I had a child only last Friday who said to me, I said, maybe Santa will bring you a book for Christmas. And he said, mm, I don't think Santa brings books, he just brings presents. So when I said it to mom, I said, oh, mom, does Santa not bring books? And she said, oh, I think Santa could bring books. So there we have a child now getting a book into a house that maybe there might have been um, a book brought into before. So that was great. But another outcome, something we think is important, I'd always have the, the blue cards to join the library and I'd encourage the parents to take a blue library card and say, you know, wouldn't it be a great idea? It's free, it's down the road, you can carry on doing that. If I say it in front of the child, quite often the child will um, encourage, blackmail, guilt their parent because they want to. They, they've enjoyed picking their books, so the parents, once they're in a role picking out the books, um, they will join up the library. And, we've, and I tell them where all the libraries are around the city and hopefully they'll join up one of them. 
we say we say um, pick a quiet time it doesn't have to be going to bed but usually that's a good time to do it um, some children I've noticed they keep the same book for the whole you know for weeks and weeks in a row um, other children you know so they like to have the same book read over and over and I explain to the parents the parents would be encouraging to take a new book I said no that's fine they're building understanding of the book knowledge of the book they're enjoying they think they're reading the book so I said that's fine let them do that other children like picking different books um, the, some of the books will have little puppets or feely things on them and they go very quickly, the children love them. Anything with a shark or a dinosaur uh, goes very quickly. But the main thing is that the parents are reading them and I also encourage the parents to do voices. Um, so I say to the children, tell mommy or daddy they have to do the cross dinosaur voice or the rough lion voice um, to make it more enjoyable for everyone.